Hey there YouTube, in my uh, first boot v uh, video of Lion I mentioned two things. Um, I showed the new login screen and mentioned how I had some custom text at the bottom and uh, I also mentioned that if you had any questions about Lion to drop me a line in the comments and uh, one of the questions I got was how did I get that custom text in the first place? So I would like to show you how you can do that uh, that is a feature that Line has made a lot easier. It's a feature that used to be um, in other versions of OS X as well, but uh, it wasn't nearly as easy to set up as it now is. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go over to System Preferences and wait for that to open up. Once that's open, uh, you're going to want to head over to the new Security and Privacy Preference pane. And you'll notice uh, that there is a new option here that says show a message when the screen is locked. And you can enter any message you want. This will appear uh, on your lock screen and on the login screen. Um, so what I'll do real quick is I will lock my screen to show you um, what that does indeed do. And uh, the other thing that's changed is uh, screen savers have also changed a bit. Uh, if you now move uh, your mouse, you can notice that the screen saver keeps going in the background. You've got the current time here, your wireless signal strength if you're on a wireless network, your battery if you're on a laptop. This is actually supposed to be center. That's actually a graphical bug, uh, which is new, though it actually was not in the GM. But uh, this is the custom text that I set. So if I log in, I'll show you how you can now change that. So this is it here. Uh, the security preference pane by default or just standard you have to authenticate in order to uh, make any changes to it. So go ahead and click the lock. You do have to be an administrator to do this. So enter in your password. And then uh, here you go. You can now set the message to whatever you want. Um, I'll leave mine as is because I like seeing that. That is a screen uh, that you used to get uh, like in OS 9 and even before that. And so I like having that little bit of nostalgia there. Uh, another thing I would like to show you that I'm sure many people will be uh, asking about if I could get my freaking mouse to cooperate here. Sorry, using a crappy Logitech mouse because this is my MacBook uh, Pro, which I leave closed uh, on my desk uh, since I just don't have room to have it open. If you head over to Trackpad, there is now the option to disable the new scrolling. This actually was not in the GM build, or at least I didn't see it. And uh, it's taking its jolly good time right now to uh, start the video. So there we go. If you head over to Scroll and Zoom, you do have the option of disabling the scroll direction uh, natural. What that means is if you turn it off, scrolling up will again move content up, down will again move content down if you've got a mouse wheel. Um, even if you don't have a trackpad, this is on uh, by default, so if you're using a mouse like I am, your scrolling will be inverted just as it is here. So that's how you turn that off. Uh, one additional thing I would like to show uh, that uh, is not in trackpad anymore. In fact, let me switch back to that. You used to have uh, a feature in point and click where you could uh, uh, tap twice and then hold to drag files along or files, folders, whatever. You now have a three finger drag, uh, which I tried for two weeks during the testing period. I personally hated it. And so, um, after a bit of digging around, I found out how you can get the old drag lock back. So what you want to do is you want to head over to Universal Access. You want to head to Mouse and Trackpad. And down here is Trackpad Options. Click on that. And click the checkbox for dragging and make sure that With Drag Lock is selected. That will allow you to do the click and then click again real fast and hold and move windows around as if you were to like you know click and drag a window using a mouse like that. Once that's done click done 
and that's now set. The last thing I'd like to show real quick is not something that's new to Line. This has actually been in OS X for a long time, but very few people actually know about it. Uh, if you head over to the volume icon in your OS X bar, whatever the heck it's called, I never figured it out. Um, if you just click it by default you get the volume slider. However, if you actually hold the option key while you click it, you now have the option of changing your output devices and your input devices. As you can see right now I'm using a, a headset because uh, the internal mic on my computer would be picking up the fan right now. And you also have the option of quickly getting to the sound preferences. So. Um, that's it for now. If you have any further questions about Lion, uh, if there's a feature that was previously in OS X that you can no longer find and you need help finding it, by all means, uh, go ahead and ask. I will do my best to make a screen recording showing where it is now located.